Hey everyone, Yusi here from My Trade Price. Uh, it is Sunday morning, about 10 o'clock Eastern. Uh, let us get started and get us go to some of the charts here. So QQQ. Uh, always like to start with the monthly view. Just just gives you a good overview. So overall stance still remains bearish, right? We opened the month right about here got up a little bit and since then we've been just selling off and now we're kind of trying to break down uh, we might attempt to break down from previous month low right that's still the uh, bigger picture right uh, weekly chart again sort of mimics the same uh, uh, you know structure we had this bullish week and we did not see any upside follow through right it just kind of stalled right there and then previous week we just kind of gave up and broke below the low of this last week and just kind of closed towards the low end of the structure right so if you zoom in and just see and compare this price structure to some you know a few weeks ago so this was the same thing right we got back up top wicks got projection from the trend line and then just closed towards the low end of this week right same story kind of over here as well uh, got back up top week at the rejection and then closed back towards the low end of this uh, two weeks ago price structure right so if this gives up then we can we can see a sort of a follow through towards 300 or 310 level at least as a first uh, initial target uh, if I scroll zoom out a little bit so you can see you're still in the down channel, right? And there is, you can somewhat draw this trend line, right? As a breakout uh, to identify if it's breaking out because if it breaks out of right here, then we have this support around 318.2 uh, from a few weeks, a uh, couple of weeks ago. And then if it breaks that down, uh, I'll zoom back a little bit. So this is the price structure uh, that it bounced up from. So if it gives up that, you know, then definitely 310 is the number that you're looking for. That's where we have some support as well. So we'll see what happens. But to, to play the upside, it just doesn't look promising right now. Here's a three-day chart, right? 3D chart. So each bar represents three days. It's less than a week, but it's more than a day, right? It still kind of gives us some uh, additional data point like I always like to see. So still bearish bars, no bullish follow-through to any green bar, um, lower highs, uh, this last 3D uh, bar is bearish as well. It's still an inside bar, right? Because it's still within the range of this previous week. So if we get a breakout above this one, you know, yeah, sure, we can see a little bit of push towards the upside and then monitor and see if, you know, it gets, it gets where people start covering their short position and we see a big run to the upside. But for that to happen, of course, there's a headline news and all that stuff needs to kind of be favorable, right? Because in the daily chart, you can see we have these big bearish red bars, right? Uh, there is no indication looking at this price structure right now that there's an urgency for the price to go up, right? Any green days you see, they're sort of contained, right? Uh, but the, uh, the red days, you know, the bars are not overlapping mostly and it's this rush to uh, go down so that's that's there's always an urgency to go down but I don't see the same urgency to go back up right the daily bars are not indicative of that right now so to feel bullish overall from price structure perspective this was the sort of the uh, uh, low structure low for this one that we broke down from and since then we haven't been able to get above above that right so until or unless we get about comfortably above I would say about 338.5 340 and this downtrend line uh, the structure remains weak okay all right amazon <clears throat> let's look at the daily view uh, sorry the weekly view still below it's uh, uh, this long-term trend line uh, downtrend line is right here we do have somewhat of a i'd say not a bullish but a you know, neutral week because we close where we uh, uh, opened the week and then it's with a long bottom wick but that's not the reason by itself to go long 
you have to kind of analyze the price structure let's say in a da uh, daily time frame and the way it's moving uh, I think it is better and it will remain sort of elevated because of the uh, what do you call that the split news so the retail traders can keep on buying the dips till the actual split happens right so uh, given the market sold off it, this was it did not break down from its previous days low right it just kind of stayed right here so uh, neutral so we'll see what happens next week but it wasn't offering any great trading setup so don't really need to force that right i can see this sort of a trend line early in the week to see if it gets above that and we can start targeting towards the downtrend line or if it gives up and wants to target this lower end and we just, you know fill the gap here we have this gap here that uh, sits right there so we'll see what happens but anytime the price has gone below 2765 it has bounced back up so that can be a good level to see if it holds uh, if it does not then definitely you know you can target the lower price uh, structure right here apple always like to keep an eye on a apple monthly time frame ah it's weak right still has not broken down below its previous month's low but it just looks like it wants to because uh, it's just testing its uptrend line here that the price has maintained above for a lot of uh, for a long time right so weekly bar closed towards the weak side of its recent structure so that tells that's not a sign of a bullish chart again if it was to get bullish we want to see prices closing right here right here but that's not happening until that happens we have to assume that the price and the trend is uh, towards the downside so daily view here's the chart <clears throat> trying to test this trend line let's see if it uh, can maintain that or if it gives up or you know it's just it just doesn't look right right now so the structure remains weak to get towards the bullish side the first thing that i would be looking for apple to is, is hold this trend line and then get back above i would say you know just this 161 mark because then we can target the upper end of this middle structure right here right now it's not happening so once it does we'll see again more bearish bars green bars won't see follow through similar structure similar story uh, to other names tesla uh, let's look at weekly right uh, still in a downtrend we saw this uh, bullish week inverted hammer so with the long top wick uh, usually if that happens towards the low end of uh, the the recent uh, rundown you can call that a little bit bullish right because the price maintained and it did not break down below but right now the way it is it's it's kind of giving you missed signals right uh, it closed below the low of previous week with that was a top wig so it's just the structure again remains weak but it's sort of giving a little bit of uh i'll say a flaggish move right bull not bull i mean yeah bull flag but again uh, it's just a little too wide to be called a bull flag right if it was something like this i would have felt more comfortable it's just a little too wide but that's could be normal as well to given the volatility so right now uh to feel that bullish we'll just have to see the price get above this mini downtrend line right and then we can see target the upper end of the structure around 890 but if that does not happen we just see some weak bounces and then it further wants to give down then 782 is the first number to look for the downside if it remains below that uh you know there's just not much structure here so you can see a little flush towards the downside if that happens uh but but you know just have to keep it open and see which way it plays out here's it in the week in the hourly view right if i bring down the other levels i know it looks a little bit busy but it gives you a little bit better view of what's happening right 30 minute chart uh you can see still in the down channel we broke below this this mini uptrend line right uh and then the stock just kept on selling selling off on friday it was a all day meltdown on friday and it gave good intraday patterns to trade against right uh a lot of uh what you call those bear flags that it played out right this was one right here this is a five minute chart but if you drill down and do 
two minutes, one minute, uh, they were doing pretty clear, right? And the, again, the rush to price to go down is, is, is brutal, whereas the price to go back up, the bounces are just weak, right? Uh, so more money to be made is towards the downside, naturally. So just have to kind of look at it from that perspective. Let's look at Square. Weekly view uh, did give us nice bounce from 84 from a couple of weeks ago, but since then just come and come down. So one thing that I can look for right now is A, B, and if it holds this as a higher low and tries to get back above, uh, let's say 114, and we can target 130, and then monitor to see if it breaks above 130, uh, which is this point b right here right so a b c pattern where you make a higher low and tries to break above its uh, recent swing high right in the weekly time frame in the daily uh this was the level that it broke above right after earnings uh it has come down again with the rest of the market uh and now we just give it a little bit of bounce back up and we'll just have to see it has to maintain this level stay above this level to remain uh, in that ABC kind of a pattern, right? So the recent in the daily time frame, 114 is the sort of the resistance to look for. Uh, if it can get above that, we can see target the higher end. But right now, uh, we'll start to see what happens. Okay, Nvidia. Again, weak chart sideways. Uh, I see a couple of touch points right here that it needs to get above, right? This is one, two, and a little bit of three, right? And from, if you go back a little bit, the similar price structure has had support around 234, 235, uh, which is, where is that? Right here, right, right here. So that was the support of the structure, but then it just gave up. And now if it has to get bullish, we need to see the price get about 235, target the, the, the downtrend line first and the high end of this structure. Otherwise, we can just roll back down towards 206. We'll just have to see if it can hold above 218. If it does not, then the lower price structure becomes your target. And this is sort of the green box zone, 195, 187 area, right? That's where the uh, price stretches the long-term uptrend line. Uh, if I zoom out a little bit, I'll show you that. Let's go weekly. So that can be a good area for uh, for, a, for a bounce, I would say, for you know some meaningful bounce, right? Because you have these touch points as well between 187 and 177 that you can see some of the some bounce ba nice channel to the downside right and then it give a nice bounce from this uh, uh 167 area 168 area and now let's see if it can give the price back about 185 that would be the break above the previous week's high uh so usually you know if it does that after touching the channel bottom like that people can people can buy it in anticipation of the move back up towards the, the recent swing high but we'll see in the daily time frame let's see if it if it can get above this uh, 185 structure right that was the high end of the recent week uh, we did see a sell-off on friday but it maintained the, uh, the, the price above this previous day so even after that sell-off it can it can stay above that it's you know neutral to I would say in anticipation that the price will get above 185 that can be a good sign that hey price you know held that structure if not if you go back down that 167 becomes your first target to the downside and then see if it breaks down below this uh, channel as well or not we'll see mm, let's look at SPY okay so SPY okay I think I only have this one let me get into a lower time frame. It's a similar to QQQ, somewhat, right? Close towards the low end of its recent week. Uh, bearish engulfing uh, day, Friday, right? Because uh, it ate or it, the, the, the price is above uh, uh, the, the open price, uh, uh, sorry, the close price of its previous week, so uh, day. So it is weak, right? From that perspective. And let's see if it kind of just gives us a little bit of flag here in the lower time frame and then breaks down below this green uh mini uptrend line a weak trend line right uh if it, or if it gets target towards that downside for that for it to get back above 
uh, unless or until it can get above 427 uh, right here is it just looks weak right from price structure point of view if I do, let's look at uh, let's say a weekly time frame right uh, it just there is no upside follow through to any green bar the previous week was a doji with a long top wake and then a good follow through to the downside so it could be where we stall maybe see a pause bar before the next leg down right but the trend remains down for right now also let's take a look at shop uh, still weak name let's look at the weekly view again you know no upside follow through lower highs lower lows so unless that structure gets broken that pattern gets broken you know you can't really she should not be playing the bounces or you know just don't expect that the bounce will last long right if you miss that that you see a big bounce back to the upside and you're like oh my god i missed the bottom that's okay you know uh you don't have to target one day's worth of success whereas and miss on all these previous weeks playing to the downside right so right now the weekly bar has gotten somewhat uh i'll say uh you know it's, it's it's range is pretty low compared to previous weeks right we have big weekly bars but this so that can be from structure point of view that the selling is slowing down but we don't have to be a hero and try to catch the bottom right we don't that's not that should not be our mentality that we're going to catch the bottom as traders we don't care about that we should only look for patterns price patterns and things like that right so 3d chart uh doji bar previous weeks and then this last week was sort of a you know a, a range bound bearish bar so let's see if it is getting to the point where we can see some target some upside but for that to happen uh, i would like to see some lower time frame uh, swing highs get taken out right that's the first indication and from right now what i can see 573 to 580 it looks like that kind of a uh, price range that it needs to take out to get stronger right because this is the sort of a mini channel uh, downtrend line as well so if i do like this and let's do a duplicate something like that if it breaks down below this structure you know we can see some move down towards 530 523 but if it gets back strong above this channel high breaks the up the high of the structure but you know between 573 and 580 then we can see a good quick gap fill towards 595 and this downtrend line which is 606 okay so target that kind of a uh look for that kind of price pattern to play out uh, if you want to kind of you know target so that's the higher time frame so the view that it looks right now so here's the chart of nq right towards the end we should analyze that as well futures uh you can see it gave up the low end of its previous week which was a top wake and then closed below that structure low uh let's see uh, but right now again the force is more brutal more powerful towards the downside so we can adjust this one as this one is not that bad anymore so the high of this weekly bar is 13879 right so just call it 880 for that because that becomes the high of this previous week so that becomes our sort of the, one of the reference points to look for because here it is right the price tried to get back up but couldn't break above 13880 and now we have this uh, massive weekly uh, and daily ranges that it's trading in uh, and if I drill into let's say 30 minute view let's switch to a different chart so here's the here's the mini uptrend line and could be a flag here as well where you know this price can be playing this looks like a sort of a flag where it wants to break down we'll see how Sunday futures open but it can just kind of flush down towards 13103 if this one plays out because we have these just these bear flags that played out all day friday so I, you know that could be a pattern that is could, could continue towards the earlier half of uh, uh, sunday overnight futures where it just keeps falling down okay all right so hope you guys have a good rest of your sunday talk to you guys tomorrow bye